Until our last video, we discussed how we can create a coded test setup within our IntelliJ IDE and we also created the page object model so that we can write the test within our local test runner and then we can consume that within our test case and we can use it within our test project account. So all the infrastructure for running our test within our local machine is already ready here. So I'm just gonna start using that. I'm gonna see how we can use that. But if you could remember, while we need to run the test within our local machine using our local test agent, we need to have developer key from our test project account. So if you go here to the developers, you can see there is something called as developer key. So you need to copy that, which I already have. If you remember from our previous video, we generated that and I copy pasted that within my account. So let me again do the same thing. I'm just going to copy developer key and then I'm going to use that within my local test here. So I'm just going to create what is called as a private final static string of my dev token. I'm going to paste that over here and then I'm going to start working with it. So the first thing is we need to have what is called as a driver settings because we need to include the driver settings to include what browser that we're going to include. So the driver settings is going to have what is called as a driver type and I'm going to give the Chrome browser and then I'm going to create the runner. Again, the runner is going to be pretty much exactly like how we discussed in our previous video. I'm just going to call the runner as new runner and then I'm going to pass the dev token and the driver setting that I created just a couple of minutes before. And then within this one, I'm going to perform my login operation which I just wrote over here within the login page. So because this is a try, I also need to include the catch block. If not, it's going to throw me an exception. So let me throw bool e of e dot print track trace maybe. Yeah, that should be better. And what else this is saying? Unexpected token. Yeah, of course it will say that because we actually have to write everything within the main method. So I have to create a main method before I start doing that. So it's going to be public static void main and then I'm just going to call this as string of arcs and I'm just going to say throws exception and I'm going to paste this code over here and let's call this guy within the main method so that the error will be gone as well all right all good now and then we are going to call our login page class here so login page it's going to be login page is equal to new of login page and I need to create the driver here which is nothing but the web driver driver is equal to so because the runner is sitting within the get runner method we can call that using the runner dot get driver and now you can see that we are getting a screwy line here so if you recollect from our previous video that we were discussing you can see that for the runner over here we pass the get driver and the click menu link instance variable from our click menu link class that we just created if you could see the click menu link class over here you can see it has implemented what is called as a web action but if you could see our particular code even if we pass this particular login page it is not going to work because this is just a page right and the page cannot by itself can be used within this particular get driver and the whole purpose of this get driver is to pass the instance variable within it so that it can pass the driver instance variable within that particular class and it can perform the operation over there so it won't basically work so in order to make that code work i'm actually going to include a very very super simple options here which is nothing but i'm going to implement what is called as a web test here and this web test is going to if I just hit implement methods you can see it is going to have this particular execute method pretty much like how we did for the add-ons in our previous video for this click menu link right so we have used the web action for the add-ons and for the web test it is going to include this web test class over here right and this is web add-on helper 
but this time for the execute method it has something called as web test helper right we need to include this particular login test case here so that we can make sure that we can run that because that makes very sensible sense as well because we are going to upload this particular login test case within our test project rather this local test case runner itself right so we are going to include them as well so that's why we need to create one more instance variable of what is called as a login test case so let's call this as login test case is equal to new of login test case and i'm going to say login test case for the get driver right i know this particular login test case driver is currently kind of uh, a dummy we are not including anything over here so just hold tight for now once this is done i'm going to just copy paste this code into our login test case here so this is done and now we are going to call the actual actions which is nothing but navigating to the application and then clicking the login link and then entering the username and password and clicking the login button so for navigating i'm just going to use the driver dot navigate dot to and the url so the url is going to be this url so i'm just going to pass this over here and then i'm going to click the login so click login link which is going to be from the page this is nothing but the login page that we have dot click login link and then i need to enter the username and password so enter which is going to be login page dot enter login detail and the username and password i'm just going to hard code for now and we will discuss how we can parameterize the value using input parameters in our next video but as of now just hold tight i'm just going to do that here and then i'm going to click the login button login page dot click login button i'm going to save this particular piece of code here and then i just want to run this test and see how it works right and because this is a main method i can just run the test here but before that it's also a good practice that we can copy the same code from here to login test case over here right so i can just do that and i'm also going to return expected result as passed for now and this driver you don't really have to get the driver something like this rather you can get the driver from what is called as a web test helper because in our runner local test runner that we use we just used to get the web driver using get driver and then we pass the login test class itself this one but since this is the actual test class we don't really have to pass that rather we can call this web test helper dot and you can see there is something called as get driver without any argument to be passed so i can just call that over here and other code remains pretty much same without any change right so this is how you can implement the test case as well so you can see that the test case is implemented also the local test case to be tested is also implemented so we have two options already available seamlessly and now i can run the test using this uh, run local test main method option so let's see what's going to happen let's cross my finger you can see that it is currently starting the development session which means it is trying to run the test in my local machine so it has opened the browser in my another window you can see it's currently executing and it's going to oops it got an error here so it says that it couldn't able to click that particular login link because due to null pointer exception there and the reason is because we need to initialize the page factory dot init elements right so because this is a page object model class we should have the page factory dot init elements if not the code is not going to basically work so you can do this in two way either you can create within the constructor of the login page over here which is going to be very very simple so i can do that so public login page and within that i'm going to pass the uh, driver which is nothing but the web driver and then we need to call the page factory dot init elements and within this i'm going to pass the driver and this page right so i'm going to include that here so if that's done then we need to pass the driver reference within this particular page which is going to be 
the driver this one I'm gonna pass it over here which makes the code even more cleaner and simpler so this is why we are getting the null pointer exception here so now if I try to execute this code as I said we are gonna get one more exception here because we need to pass this particular driver element even for this particular uh, class so I'm gonna pass that over here I'm gonna save it and this time the code is gonna work without any problem so I'm just gonna execute that it is going to open the browser which it has opened in a different monitor for me and you can see it is entering the username and password there you go the test has got passed which is very very cool so let me show you this again I'm gonna run that and I'm gonna bring the screen here you can see it clicks the login and then it enters the username and password and the test card pass that's it so this is how you can see that the test executes without any problem using this particular code that we have written so our local test has got passed without any problem just that we have to upload this test within our test project account and see how this code is going to basically work so for that I need to package this code and then I need to run that for that we already have the maven lifecycle so I can just do a clean which is going to clean all the package for me and then I'm going to compile and then I can also package the code within our test and I can upload that so I just gonna run the package option here there you go it has got succeeded and now if I go to the target and I can do a show in Explorer so that I can have the jar file within this target folder over here and then I can upload this and I can start working from there so let me copy this particular jar file path here and let me go to the test project account and let me go to the home let me go to the project go to the test package and within this test package I'm gonna upload a new package for our web application so I'm gonna call this test case the name is probably going to be the login test case or something like that and then to test login functionality or maybe to perform login functionality because we're not doing any testing here so perform login functionality and the application you can see once I click that it is gonna ask me which application I'm gonna test which is nothing but the EA employee app and then I'm gonna drag and drop the jar file for me and then I'm gonna upload this particular jar file so you can see once I upload that it is going to upload and it says that the version is 1.0 and it has some funny class name here you can actually modify all these options which we'll be discussing in our next video while we are going to update some of the options in our existing test case so we'll be discussing about that but as of now you can see that it is like a fully qualified name it's automatically coming for us and then if I hit next and if I hit finish it is going to upload the test case for me you can see that it has been uploaded it is just 5.2 KB and there is a plus sign this uh, this time so once I click this plus sign you can see it says to perform login functionality the description and there is a test case name so if I click this guy you should note one important thing that it is suffixed by a coder tests here and this particular test is now sitting under what is called as a coder test package you can see that it is actually sitting over here so if I go to the test this time you can see I have a new folder created called login test case coder test and within this coder test I actually have this particular test case so you may be wondering how this test case is going to look like so even if I click this you can see it says that the test can be added to a job or can be used as a part of a recorder but you cannot just open this particular test in the test editor right so you can't do that so let's quickly run this test and see what's going to happen basically so I'm just running that and just ask me to select which agent I'm going to run this which is nothing but my local test agent I'm going to run this in maybe Firefox browser why not and I'm going to execute this test so you can see that we developed the test running in the Chrome browser but I'm going to run this test in the Firefox browser and I'm going to see what's basically going to happen so I could see there is a Firefox browser being spawned here for me and it is navigating to the EA app or 
and it entered the username and password and the test got passed which is really really faster and now if I go and see the report you can see that that particular test has been executed over here and it has got passed so this is how you can write a test using page object model in test project and then you can upload that and you can extend the test cases but the most important thing we have not extended the test case yet we have just uploaded the test package within our test project and we have just executed this particular uh, package that we have written but how do we extend the existing code again in order to do that you can go to the test that we have which is nothing but the EA app test that we already used so this one we navigated to the URL and we clicked all the menus this time so instead of navigating to the URL I am going to disable this option for now and I'm going to log into the application as the first step and then I'm going to click all the menus using the add-on that we just wrote right so in order to do that I'm going to select the type as test and I'm going to hit OK and the test I'm going to choose this time is going to be the one which I just wrote which is nothing but the login test case test I'm going to hit create and I'm going to drag this guy all the way top over here and now if I try to run this test let's see what's going to happen so basically it is going to navigate to the application it's going to enter the username and password and then it's going to click the login button and then we need to navigate to the all URLs of the menu bar and see what's going to happen so we are going to extend the add-ons as well as the coder test this time all right the test is ready I'm going to run the test now oops so let me go to the EA app test again so I guess the reason is because every time while we try to do a record it is going to launch the application for us so let's not do that let's go to the home once again to the exit automation employee and let's run this test let's see what's gonna happen I'm gonna choose the agent Firefox hit execute all right you can see it is entering the username and password and now it should click all the URL for me which is really really cool and then it should log off as well there you go so the test got passed I guess without any problem that's it and now if I go to the report you can see that the test has completely got passed so what just happened before was while we were trying to run the test from this particular test using this record option so every time we do a start recording it is going to navigate to the application and because within our test case we have already used this navigate code this is nothing but the navigate to URL code right so this is going to navigate our whole browser once again to a new browser session and that creates the test project to stop the test execution and returns back to the previous test window so we should not do that we should either comment the navigate option from our existing code and then we should just perform the action instead of navigating to the application because test project is going to do things for you by default so we are going to update our test case in our next video and we'll see how to work with versionings and we can update our test case package and we'll see how we can extend this code even further and we can use the record options here and run the test without any problem so once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day